Hey, welcome back. Today we're at Gresham High School, and it's completely raining today, so we're under the grandstands, which just happens to be a little indoor throwing area. So I'm kind of excited to work with Grant today and focus a little bit more on technique, not worry so much about how far the jab's throwing and, uh, you know, what the flight looks like. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's session. got a shot and disc in the back and then here in front of me we have a javelin area with a net to throw weighted balls into. So I'm excited to be inside today. Sometimes working outside kids are so concerned about throwing far and you know how their javelin flies. So when we work inside can't see any of that. All we can do is work on the technical pieces to produce a throw. So it's a uh, Typically a lot less distracting for, this, for the kids. And so we're gonna do that today. work on that block just a little bit. Make sure you flex that left quad so you come into a strong left leg. Good. Yeah, when you step onto that left leg, you should kind of feel your toes get shoved to the end of your shoes. Good. Okay, hey, don't step too far, you'll get off balance there. Better. Good. Okay, switch over, left side. Let's go 10 on the left side. <laughs> Same idea, think of rocking into it. Rock back, rock forward, and just let it go. Good. So let's let's talk a little bit about um, orbit of the shoulders. So uh, orbit of the shoulders. So the left shoulder is sort of your counterbalance to your right shoulder as you're doing a lot of javelin stuff. When it's time to throw the, the striking motion, the left arm begins the process. So the left arm is the first thing that begins to move down and across the body. The next thing that goes is the right hip. So the right hip then moves you into your block, which is um, the third thing that happens. And then from the block is the, is the strike. It's the big deflection. It's the force going from here to suddenly up into the air. Uh, the strike incorporates the upper body. So the left shoulder is the first thing. Right shoulder is the last thing. There's a lot of stuff that happens in between. So the left shoulder needs to start moving down here. It creates the orbit that the right arm is going to follow into the throw. And I want most of your weight to get moved from that right foot onto the left foot, and that is going to help deflect that force. All right, so from here, I just want you to rock back, left arm, start moving, and then guide the right arm all the way through, and I want you to connect to that left hand. Okay, so don't worry about throwing. I just want you to do a simulated one. So from here, down to the left, and strike. We're going to exaggerate just a little bit so you can get the, the orbit. Okay, so get in your throwing position. Okay, so rock back on that back foot. It's going to go first from across the body. Okay, your target's still right here. This arm's going to drop down here, and then that right arm's going to follow. Boom, right through there. Okay, so that's what I want you to simulate. Go through that process and see if it feels like it's connected. Okay, so left arm down to the left side. There you go, good. 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 
Good, now let's try and delay it. So right now the left arm and the right arm are kind of moving at the same time, okay? I want you to delay the right arm. So what I mean by that is I want you to drop the left arm independent, independent of the right arm. I want you to drop it down here, pinch the shoulder blades just a little bit, and then move into and strike. Okay, so let's break it into a couple of different components. Okay, so the left arm, I'm gonna go independent here, okay? So from here, independent, pinch the shoulder blades, now move the chest and strike. There you go. Okay, do it again. So get the left arm across, goes down to the left side, and then strike, good. What you're doing is you're activating your muscles. They're acting like rubber bands. You're creating tension between them, you're stretching them out, creating elastic energy, good. Okay, and same thing. Now, I want you to lock this left arm, though, at your hip. I don't want it swinging behind you, okay? Swing it, lock it, and strike. Okay, do it again. Okay, same thing. Left arm It's going to come down and lock. That's it. As soon as the left arm locks, you notice the right arm just accelerates. See that? The left arm, the right arm. Pinch the shoulder blades just a little bit, and you can further stretch out the chest muscles. All right, give me a couple more. Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to incorporate this with that rocking throw. So I'm going to rock back on that back foot. Left arm's going to go down. Okay. Step, and then strike. Okay, left arm. I'm going to come down into that block, and then strike. So rock back on that back foot. Left arm goes first. Oh, that's perfect. Exactly. Good. Do you notice the acceleration? I see it. It's pretty substantial. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Right. So remember, your target's going to be a little bit higher, so don't get into the habit of throwing down, right? That's what a pitcher does. Javelin thrower's got to put it up in the up in the air. So grab the weighted ball. I want you to move up here to the end of the runway. I want you to find this comfortable spot because I don't want you to go past it. If you overextend your, your block, you're going to come down, and then you're going to start throwing down. So we're going get to get you to a comfortable spot here. So that when you step into it, you step into it and you're still in that comfortable spot. Okay, you're not way out here. Does that make sense? So set up right here. Good, now rock back and go through that same stuff. Don't worry about how the ball is going. Do the same simulated thing. There you go, good. Okay, same thing. As you move through these, take them easy like this last one and gradually build into it. There you go, fantastic. Grant, this looks so much better. So tell me, how does this feel? Does it feel quicker? Yes. Feel like you're getting more into it? Mm-hmm. It really accelerates, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, this looks so much better. It's less mechanical. Things look like they're really loose and fluid now, you know? It's really good. Uh, okay, are you getting tired at all? Sometimes when we throw uh, the balls in, in, you know, to the net here, you kind of get fatigued faster because we throw so many more. When you're out there throwing a jab, you know, you got to go retrieve it, and you get so fewer reps. So, What's that? It's automatic return, right? Right. So you can get it one after another. <laughs> it's the lazy man's throwing. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I wanna I wanna give you a few more throws. I want you to start getting a little bit more rearward lean, and I want you to throw it just a little bit higher. Hopefully, you don't put it through the gap in the net, but I want you to throw it a little bit higher. 
So just a little bit more rearward lean, slide into that block instead of coming down on top of it, slide into it so you can put it up and maybe choose your target, you know, so that it's about uh, four feet taller than where my arm is. Find that spot and then try and hit it each time. There you go. Good. So it looks like less effort, and I can tell the balls come out of your hand a lot faster. You're even hitting a block today. This is great. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make you a little bit uncomfortable here by moving you up even closer to the end of the runway. And the reason is, if you're back here, and then you stretch out to here, you're starting to get that block leg too far out in front. You're starting to go lower, like your whole body's going lower. You're still throwing high, but the, the force from your body is actually on its way down. You want your, your force from the body on its way up. Okay, so I want you to go up to the front and then take a comfortable step back so that you, when you do step, you're right there every time. Okay, so start from the front and then take a step back. Nice and comfortable stride length. There you go. And let's see, maybe even a little bit wider. You could probably go back a little bit longer. That's good. So from there, let's see if you can stay on the runway with that block foot. Okay. All right, rock back. Same throwing motion. Stretch through the shoulders. See how far over the runway you are? Yeah. So that gives you an indication of how far you're stepping out into it. Don't step all the way out into it. You might step a little bit out into it, but I don't want you to really step way out there because then you become this sort of awkward base, you know. All right, so do it again. So get <laughs> awkward. Okay, so that's a probably a good spot. Take a little comfortable step back. Now rock on that back foot. Okay, and then take note of where that foot is. So you went, a, yep, not quite as far. You probably moved it forward about 10 inches or so. Okay, so rock back, get yourself under control, drop that left arm, feel the stretch. Yep, same as last time. So what I like to do is instead of reaching this way and putting my whole body forward into the throw, what I do is I try and kind of settle down a little bit. I settle down and I kind of slide into it and then drive up off of it. So, so rock back, sink down on that back foot and kind of slide into it. That's it. Good. That time you only moved up about an inch, so you were almost in the same spot, which is perfectly okay. Okay, same idea. Rock back on that back leg and gather yourself so you can kind of plan the throw. Good. It's very good. Okay, so I'm going to give your shoulder just a little bit of a rest here. Overall, you've picked up this little piece pretty well. You picked up a strong block before it was really mushy. Uh, the hip was not connected to your throw. You weren't getting the right orbit, and you certainly weren't getting any stretch across the chest, and you've put all of those things together now into that one throw. That's a lot of stuff to be able to put together, and so all I want to do is keep you throwing just like that, okay? I don't want to add any crossover today. I don't want to add any additional stuff. If you can replicate that smooth motion without having to think about every little incremental piece, that's exactly where I want you to be. Hopefully you enjoyed today's throwing session. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. That way every time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And if you don't mind, share this video with anyone who you think might enjoy javelin stuff. So until I see you next time, have fun and throw far.